you guys. This is, I guess, my first vlog style video. Um, I was hanging out with my niece today and we put our hair in pigtails. <laughs> and so I was uh, watching a little bit of YouTube and um, something kind of caught my attention that I don't think I ever really noticed before. And that is beauty gurus apologizing like as soon as the video starts and they're apologizing for their flaws like oh this concealer doesn't really match or it's a little too light I'm sorry I'm sorry my hair is a mess today I'm sorry my makeup really doesn't look that great today I'm I'm sorry uh, I got to get my eyebrows done you know all of these different things that they're apologizing for because they're obviously flaws to them and they probably feel like, oh, you know, somebody's going to end up mentioning it in the comment section. So I better just apologize now because, oh my goodness, you know. And it was so weird to me because, you know, we all have these insecurities. And I know when we look inside ourselves, we see them. But, you know, looking at, you know, some of these beauty gurus, they are just, they're just drop dead gorgeous. And I'm like, oh my God, like, I cannot believe that they're going to apologize for like eyebrows. I mean, look at mine. They look like caterpillars. I have sensitive skin and I can only get them waxed like a couple times a year, but I like them, you know, and I noticed um, I do the, I do the same thing, you know, in some of my videos, I was like, oh, you know, I'm sorry, I don't have makeup on, but I'm talking about skincare, you know, because I felt insecure, you know, and it shouldn't be like that. You know, I know that there's trolls, you know, you can't be everything for everybody. And, you know, somebody's going to call you fat. Somebody's going to call you ugly. It's just going to happen. It's a shame that it happens, but it does. And I felt like, you know, it's so strange that we feel like we have to apologize to all these people that we don't even know just for something so small as maybe your makeup doesn't like look that great. I mean, I just kind of don't get it. And I don't know why I do it either because I'm comfortable with myself and I know I'm pleasantly plump and I have many flaws, but I'm... I'm a pretty cool person, you know, so those things don't really bother me. I mean, I'm at my heaviest right now than I've ever been in my entire life. I suffered through like an obsession with working out and dieting. I was so skinny. And when I think back to that time, I mean, I was like sick skinny. I, I was like losing my hair sick skinny. And I think back to that time, I'm like, oh my God, I felt way more insecure when I was smaller. I guess because I paid more attention to it and it was just constantly on my mind, you know, and now, you know, I'm working on improving myself. Some of my weight gain is from being on prednisone, which is a steroid because I have asthma, you know, and some of it was after I lost my grandmother, I, I had a pretty deep depression. She, she was my best friend in the entire, entire world. And so... I just, I feel like, you know, there should be a change it, it, on YouTube with the whole let's apologize to each other type of shit because, sorry, I realized my finger was sort of in the way of the camera. I have never vlogged before. I apologize. There I go again, apologizing. Who cares? You know, anyway, I think that there should be a change because there are so many of these beauty gurus that are all like, I'm all about positivity and I don't like drama and, you know, treating people well and stuff, but they're petty as fuck and they're not very nice. And instead of just saying the words positivity, it would be nice to hear them actually say positive things, especially about one another. And it would be nice for their actions to actually be positive instead of just saying that. And it's kind of ironic because some of these women... I have no issue with plastic surgery. You do you. It's just that they'll try to, they'll sometimes act like a role model where they're like, oh, you're beautiful and you're comfortable in your own skin and blah, blah, blah. But they weren't, you know, and I get it. If you have plastic surgery, especially for yourself, it's going to make you feel good. But it just kind of sounds a little weird, you know, coming from somebody that has, you know, 
all kinds of work done, you know? And I wonder if some of these women, when they, because when they first started YouTube, they didn't look like that. And I think some of them looked way better, in my opinion. If, you know, they got comments like, oh, you know, something about their tits or something about their nose or something. And that's why they ended up changing things, you know, because some of us may be really you know, able to handle things like that, you know, be tough about it. But a lot of people aren't, you know. And so I guess, you know, this little vlog is just, YouTubers, stop apologizing for the way that you look. Be more comfortable with yourself. Fuck them. Who cares? You know, as long as you are real and you're putting out pretty good content, you know, who cares if one day your, uh, your, your concealer is a little bit lighter than it should be or your shadow didn't blend out that well? I mean, who cares? And, you know, we never end up coming on camera and saying, oh, I love my hair today. Oh, my God, I love my makeup today because then we would probably be considered conceited, which is ridiculous. But it's okay to love yourself and it's okay to say to yourself sometimes, I am beautiful. I am beautiful. You are beautiful. You, yes you, you are beautiful. You are beautiful. I hope 2018 gets rid of some of these weirdo insecurities that we have and that we can all just be better towards each other. I know that this was sort of a, a rambling kind of thing, but it was just something that was on my mind, watching these videos, thinking about how beautiful these women are. And some men do it too. Oh, I'm sorry about my hair. That's why I'm wearing a hat, you know, like that kind of stuff. And I just, it just seems so weird, you know? So stop fucking apologizing for the way that you look because there are people out here that love your content, that are just here for you. And hopefully we can all be actually positive towards each other. So I really love you guys and I hope you enjoyed this. Tomorrow I'm going to film my first Get Ready With Me video. Um, I am not a makeup artist. I do not claim to be. I don't do makeup videos for that reason. But I have um, a lunch to go to tomorrow. So in the morning when I'm getting ready, I just figured I would film because I'm really excited to talk some shit on me and MUA. That is does go against being positive, I must say, but this is not going to be like a hate thing. It's just my thoughts on, on Manny as of late. So I hope you guys will come back and see it. And remember, you're beautiful. You're worth it. Fuck the trolls. Love you guys.